Hi everyone, my name is Christine. I'm a senior keeper here at Birds World. This is Sophie, my fellow peacock trainer. Um, and today, for today's Zoo to You, we are going to meet Peepop, one of our resident peacocks here. And Peepop is standing on something that we call a station, and it has a symbol on it that he recognizes as his own symbol. Oh, good job. And he knows that he stands on that. Um, the click that I'm doing is just with a clicker, um, something you might use to train your dog or cat at home, and it just lets him know that he did what I asked for, and a treat is coming. So he's doing a very good job of stationing. We have four peacocks here at Franklin Park. Uh, each of them have their own symbol that they know and recognize. Do you train with each of them equally or do you get trained more than others for whatever reason? Um, so we have three that mainly hang out here down at Birds World. Uh, that is Peepop, Peelock, and Squid. And then Snowbank, you'll find him at Children's Zoo. Um, so sometimes we'll train all three together sometimes we'll work one-on-one -on -one. Um, it kind of depends on what they feel like doing well, what about their personalities so peepop is like the golden retriever of peacocks he is super enthusiastic about training he runs up to us keepers uh, right away. He's never really shy. Um, Pelock is a little bit more shy, but he warms up really quickly. And Squid is probably the shyest, but um, we have a pretty good relationship. So, and Snowbank is a little bit more shy than than squid. <laughs> Do you feed them a special kind of food for training purposes? Yes, yeah, so for training, they are getting mealworms and crickets. Mm -hmm. They love bugs. And what do they eat normally otherwise? Uh, normally, they get um, a pellet, like a, something you'd feed chickens, and they get greens. In the wintertime, they'll also get meat. In addition to that, uh, peacocks are omnivores, so they will eat pretty much anything they come across. Um, and they use all that extra protein in the winter to grow their beautiful tails. On that note, are, do females and males look, have the beautiful blue and the long green tails? They do not. Females don't have the long tails, and they're a more muted kind of brown teal color. Um, they have no. They don't have the long train like the males do. Um, the males have their tails for a good portion of the year, but they regrow them every year. So in the winter, if you come, they don't have their long train. Um, they shed them so that they can grow a new a new tail every year for um, like the mating and breeding season. And they can roam around the whole tree, right? Yes, they are free range. Are they friendly if guests kind of encounter them? Um, they definitely prefer their space. Uh, one thing that is totally not okay is to chase them. They do not like being chased. Um, but they're okay with being watched by guests. Um, they're pretty, you know, tolerant of that, but they do like to keep some kind of distance. Have you noticed anything like, do they have favorite animals to go and check out when they're roaming around or anything like that? Favorite spots? I know that Snowbank 
loves to hang out with the prairie dogs. Peepop, who we have here, he kind of occupies this area a lot, so he'll hang out with the black swans or the mute swans at Aussie Aviary. Um, he'll walk by, you know, take a peek at the kangaroos, emus, and squid really likes to hang out at the flight cage with our Andean condors. Um, and Pelock likes to kind of hang out in front of our Kia exhibit. I had a question about if they fly. They do fly. They don't fly like you would typically think, um, like a hawk or even a sparrow. They fly more vertically up rather than horizontally. Um, and then once they get up, they kind of hop. Um, so every night, they roost in the trees that are around Bird's World and they'll do like a big flight to get up there and then they kind of jump. Because um, if you think about it, the tail uh, is a lot. It's about their whole body length. So that's a lot to get up into the air. Good job. So we have trained um, our peacocks to stand on a scale so we can monitor their weight. Um, a weight on them is probably one of the most important things that we can do. Um, it tells us if they are where they should be in terms of how much they're eating for the season, um, if they've dropped weight rapidly, if they've gained weight suddenly. Uh, the other thing that we are training them to do is to step up on a box that has a mirror on the inside of it that we can look at the bottoms of their feet to make sure that their feet are nice and healthy. And it's super important to train these behaviors so that we can manage their health in the easiest way possible. So every... Um, kind of training interaction that we have is positive. Good boy. Do you train with most of the animals in our care? Say that again? Oh, do we, at the zoo, do we train with most of our animals here in some Yes, some we do. We train most of them in some way or another. Okay. We are about out of time, but is there anything else you want to say about our peacocks or training while we're wrapping up? Um, our peacocks are awesome. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> where are you going? Come here. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's no way to make them open their tails. So you just kind of have to be patient and be nice and quiet. Make sure you give them plenty of space and certainly don't chase them because they definitely will not display for you guys. <laughs>